Live from Las Vegas, Nevada, extracting the signal from the noise, it's The Cube, covering IBM Edge 2015, brought to you by IBM. Okay, welcome back everyone. We are here live in Las Vegas for IBM Edge 2015. This is Silicon Angle's The Cube, our flagship program. When we go out to the events and extract the signal from the noise, I'm John Furrier. My co-host this segment, David Floyer, Chief Analyst at Wikivon. Our next guest, Matthew Sheard, Enterprise Solutions Architect at Mellanox. Welcome to theCUBE. Thank you. So we're going to get down and dirty in this segment. David Floyer's in the house. <laughs> um, so talk about open, open power. I mean, open give us the take on... on uh, open uh, power, I mean, I, Mellanox is really excited to be, made, be invited to be part of the Open Power Consortium. I mean, it's a really exciting thing with Open Power Foundation. The idea of innovation, collaboration, um, bringing the change in market differentiation to the, to the market, giving people choice, um, where from a solid enterprise grade uh, compute platform with, with network and, and, and uh, other partners like Google and NVIDIA with the compute, it's really just a, a really great, uh, a great, a great, uh, Great for the industry to just go forward and uh, move move in a different direction. I mean, it's got some legs to it. I mean, it, when Doug Baylog was on the Cube two years ago when they announced it, or less than two years ago, you know, he was you know all pumped up the marketing spiel, but they didn't really know how it would turn out. It really there ended was up five being... of us at the start. Yeah. Mellanox was one of the first five. Tell us 100, about 127 people now. Share with us the early days because it was a good bet. A lot of smart people making the good bets, but at that time they were just getting out of their their high end servers, their, their server commodity servers. Yeah. It was a time of great change. Open compute was exploding. A lot of yeah. architectural shifts. What, what was it like in the in well, that? In the early and in interesting days, it was. I mean, the, there was a lot of energy from IBM. That was the thing which really Mellanox really saw. We got involved in projects like the Turbo Lamp project where they were bringing together innovation partners from across the industry to get together and build solutions. And not just building a horizontal solution, but a vertical solution, where all the partners were actually optimizing at their own horizontal layer, but also optimizing at the vertical layer as well, so that you had tight integration so you could scale and deliver solutions. So, in excitement, excitement was really the, the key thing around Open Power, Open Power Foundation at the beginning because with the scale-out platforms they delivered, they delivered a really interesting platform, a lot of compute power, a lot of bandwidth that you could access from the memory that could allow you to do other th do a lot of exciting things. Things that are like being brought out today into the genomics work that Mellanox and IBM are exploring today together. So, if I can ask a question on that. Um, where are you finding the value of doing this? It, what, what sort of workloads? Uh, uh, if I look at the marketplace at the moment, there's a lot going on with low latency flash, for example, and PCI switching and memory switching. There's a whole lot going on. How, how is Mellanox adding value to, to the application? What, what, we, what we do, Mellanox role, is we really extend the efficiency that IBM's created with the, the Power 8, platform, the Power 8 compute, compute platform and extend it across the network. So we deliver, obviously, low latency. It's our heritage, it's where we come yep. from with the Invinovate mm -hmm. space. It's work that's been leveraged with uh, NVIDIA and, and IBM around the Coral project. Right. And so that, that's really the thing. And so we're seeing that we're working, um, Mellanox as a general company is working with the flash and the storage industry to bring new solutions to market where they are leveraging that low latency because as they, it's no wait, no wait time, it's a weightless environment. Uh, everything has to be timely. It's a now network. It's a now environment. Everybody expects something now. You don't want to pick up your phone and play with your apps and, and have things happening slowly. You want it now. So um, when you've got the, the, the bandwidth and the, the process and the data management, data movement capabilities of, of Power, Power 8, you need the network to match that and be able to do that. You can invest in the best GPUs, the best servers, the best storage, but if you don't invest in the network and have the right network, Absolutely. you're diluting that mess, yeah. diluting that investment yeah. that you've made and all those right. things. So yeah. infrastructure matters. I mean, that's a tagline from IBM, but yeah. I mean, for us, <laughs> everyone's been trying to crack this code for years. The network efficiency, the efficiency of compute on the network is a huge opportunity. Yep. Is this kind of where it's I, connecting? I mean, this is my, from my, my personal place from being, I mean, in the industry and being working for IBM and working in a number of different networking companies. Is this is where we've taken that with Cappy, where you've taken the 
CPU in a, with the FPGA and you've made that extra extra core on the system, now we can actually take it and bring it right down on the network. And we've, InfiniBand, you've been talking about low latency. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's InfiniBand's always been talked about low latency. Yeah. Cappy's reducing that by another magnitude. So that, where are you? Where are we down to now? So can can we get uh, switching, you know, below a hundred a hundred uh, microseconds? Uh, hundred. So I mean, we we our new technologies are around two hundred and twenty nanoseconds. Two hundred twenty nanoseconds. Nanoseconds. Right. So, so that, that's not end to end, but uh, that's 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 port to port. Port to port. End wow. to end yeah. latencies, sort of around the three hundred to five hundred nanosecond. That, and that's through the card up and both ends of the card, so it's a very, very low latency. And that's, that's with our new 100 gig, 100, 100, right. 100, 100, 100 gig EDR technologies. Yeah. So that's, that's game changing if you can put that in a shared flash that, memory I mean, to yeah, memory. I mean, that's, that's, and, that's the thing. Yeah. I mean, now a computer that is adjacent to that is now almost in the same box. It's, that's moved them they're so much closer together. If you look at what's happening with Coral, with the MV Link work that NVIDIA is doing with IBM around Power9, the work we're doing with Power9, where we're bringing those as closely together as we possibly can, so using the CAPI interface so that we can get that ultimate thing, the very, very low lane, so we can build that scale out environment for the national labs as they go forward. Yeah. What's the challenge for others? Now you're in the inner circle of the formation, you got 127. Where's the impact? Where's the meat and the bone going to come on the, in the ecosystem? Are you starting to see it now, and can you share what's coming out of the oven, if you will? So, open power is interesting in the sense that there's different things. Like, we've done collaborations with software vendors like Ubuntu, MariaDB, uh, Zen, Zen PHP. Right? We're a networking company. It's not usually that you have, have a networking guy <laughs> saying, hey, I'm talking about a PHP server here, or I'm talking about a database here. Um, that's, that, that's, that's the thing, we're, we're working in the NFE space with Altera, who's an FPGA company, so obviously FPGAs and the high-speed networking, they're, they're sort of similar. But then you're working with somebody like Sixwind, who has the data plane development kit. Data plane development kit was developed on the Intel platform by Intel, they actually created it. We've moved that onto power, and we're delivering comparable performance for power as we can on Intel, and we've got more CPUs, better CPUs, stronger CPUs, so it's a really exciting thing. So that's sort of the innovation you're seeing, and you're seeing people that getting together who, who you wouldn't expect to get together. But when you think about it in, the, in, the, in sort of a small sense, it doesn't make sense. When you think of it in the big sense, it makes, hey, yeah, they have got a similar yeah, like interest, they've got their thing. That's but right. the thing about open power is it's innovation, it's exploration, it's integration. So you look at the solution, very, sorry. Yeah, sorry. That's very interesting about the database, isn't it? Because M uh, MariaDB were one of the early ones with NVMe and atomic yeah. rights and all of that sort of thing. So is that the sort of area that you're looking at with them? To, uh, uh, well, when, when we looked at with, um, Maria, with MariaDB and, and that, the Turbo Lamp stack, we just wanted to do a, a sort of a, a crawl walk run. So they locked us in a room for two days <laughs> on July 15th last year. <laughs> And then they said, oh, by the way, you've got to have something demonstrable by the 16th of October. <laughs> yeah. So they had five companies, they had IBM in the mix, and then said, okay, we want to deliver something. So we had to do some stuff. So we did basic blocking and tackling, TCP IP, right. and those things. Now we've, got, now we've got that up and running. We're demonstrating it again on the floor today, um, today on the demo floor, on the solution floor. And then, so where does it go? I mean, do we add storage opportunities there with Elastic Storage Server? Do we add MVME? Do we add uh, Redis Flash, no SQL to the solution? There's all sorts of different ways that we can go, and that's sort of just this, it's just a continued evolution and integration and exploration. A lot of people talk about software, the threads involved, all this stuff's happening, these new innovations. What is the innovation on the software side do you see coming here? I mean, I was at an interview with a customer last week and said they were not bullish on NFE. Now, that's their personal opinion. Maybe they had a little how they integrate, but open power is about integration. It's about having flexibility. Where's the software role in all this? And what's your vision as this evolves? Because there are going to be diverse opinions out there about things like NFV or other pieces NFV, of the NFV puzzle. NFV's, the diverse opinions is, is that, and I mean, uh, that's, that's very well, But from a solution standpoint, we want to have a, a, the software will also be determined. Yeah, I mean, that, I mean I'm looking at this from, a, I'm a solution architect at the end of the day, right? And so I, I start at the network, and then I work up the stack, and then I'm thinking, and where is the right, what is the problem, rather than, is NFV the solution, or is it the problem? <laughs> and software, it's and soft a coin. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's like, does Tom Brady deserve to be suspended for four, four days? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. half the people think he does, yeah, half yeah, they yeah, don't. Right. So, 
when you're coming to the solution with, with Open Power Foundation is what are the problems that we're trying to solve, right? We saw that we identified that we needed a, we could deliver a better lamp stack. We're seeing that we can deliver a better solution in the NFE space. We're seeing that we can do interesting things in the genomics space. We're seeing we can do interesting things in the, in, for coral, for the national labs. So where it's coming from the software point of view is what are the problems that you're trying to solve? We work in the big data space with IBM around the IBM Data Engine for Analytics, the Elastic Storage Server, the Spectrum Scale. Well, what are the problems that you're saying? Because those are all infrastructure. But what am I trying to do? Am I right. trying to decide that I'm going to trawl all the government uh, stock, the SEC filings for seeing who's doing investment in buildings and trawl all the building permits for that and come down and say, if I'm a company that builds chemicals, Am I going to build it in this city because this, this company here is filing here and doing that, which is a solving a problem with all that infrastructure? The open power community has those people that can help you solve those problems, and really, it's just that's the beautiful thing of the ecosystem. It, 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 it's a solution architect's dream. Think yeah, about it. Yeah, I mean that's what you're talking about. I mean, I mean I've got I've got a broad range of platforms I can choose from. I've got chip manufacturers. I've got uh, FPGA manufacturers. I've got networking. I've got. We're now getting application and uh, management companies joining the solution. So it's 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 an amazing as an architect. You're right. It's an absolute yeah. dream. So so say what what's your dream of about uh, an application or a, a, a application of this technology that you really think will make a difference to the world? Well, one of the things I sort of was talking about the other day with some people was you take the the big data solution, the analytics, right? You run it at retail, and you've got a retail environment, right? You now want to do store purchasing. You talk about the model, they, the examples they talk about, where you, you're going in, they, or you're clicking on the website, you're getting suggestions, you've been building a house, so you're now starting to look at paint, and then, okay, ladders and rollers come up, and all that stuff happens in real time, right? So it's not necessarily one, or it's not one solution. It's taking those components and being able to reshape them to do various different things. Now, that big analytic solution that you're using to extract that data for contextual delivery of solution uh, e-commerce e e transactions can also be reshaped to deliver that building that scenario where you say you're trolling the SEC records, you're trolling the, um, the building permits and finding out where those things intersect. So it's not just that what you've got, and as you said this perfectly, is a solution architect's dream Open Power brings that to the, to the solution architect is that you can go and talk to Tyann, you can go talk to Sujon, you can talk to the various different companies in the, in the group to get what you're wanting to build. You've got partners like Google and Rackspace building Open Power solutions. So it's, it's, an, it's just it's a solution. lot of choice, but at the same time, the benefits of the... I, Dave and I talk about this all the time, Dave Vellante and, and David Floyer. Competitive advantage is is lock-in, and I say lock-in, metaphorically speaking, everyone needs to have an ability to make money. A lock-in was the old way. Now you have choice, so the lock-in becomes the platform. The well, ecosystem is an opportunity it's the, to, I should say lock-in, competitive advantage. Well, the competitive advantage or the differentiation is the fact of the innovation, the enthusiasm and the energy around innovation. Look at all the partners that are in open power. That's what they bring to the marketplace. I mean, the founding members, Google, I think, Innovation and Google are almost synonymous these days. Nvidia, Mellanox, yeah, Micron, you know, Micron tie -in, Differentiation I mean, is the new lock-in. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, in an open yeah. choice way. It's a, very yeah. different, it's a very different way of looking at the world. It's not yeah. like you can buy from this. Yeah. This is a broad consortium of people. Yeah. A group foundation that is really great. Yeah, it's Exciting the ethos, times. It's the ethos yeah. of open source. Yeah. Matthew, thanks so much for sharing with us. You're uh, welcome. Getting down and dirty here in theCUBE talking about Mellanox, all the greatest of open power. We'll be right back after this short break.